Hey guys, McSan here, and welcome for another video of Red vs. Blue. This is Season 15, Episode 11, called Belly of the Beast. Now, when we last left off, we had just learned that, um, hmm, pretty much Temple lied about the UNSC. He the one somehow killing all the freelancers. Even though the fact that Doc did confirm that they were the first ones, the first, like, uh, official sim trooper, the prototypes. And also the fact that she was afraid that Carolina would recognize his voice. There is clearly a lot more here going on, but oh my god, now Carolina and Washington are stuck with the other dead people. They're freelancers dead and froze and they are armor locked in place. And basically Temple's just gonna wait it out, just gonna see how long they last stuck like that. Record is what? 8 days and 11 hours. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, let's watch. 3, 2, beginning. You know the story of Jonah. Jonah of Ark? What's that on the blacklist? The Bible, actually. Oh. Jonah was swallowed whole by a whale. Billy of the Beast, huh? Sounds like this really? whale ripped off aliens. I feel a bit like Shut Jonah up. right now. But this whale has secrets. I don't know about you, but I am sick of being sidelined. Oh, are we gonna do some snooping around? No, I'm gonna do some snooping around. Ah, oh, come okay. on. Okay. I can totally help. I yeah, she, she noticed, she obviously feels something good. very Randomly weird. Things that help move the plot forward. You. Have yeah, that's true. Important job this time. I need you to distract someone while I have a look around. I think the blues and reds have Sarge spying on us. No. -uh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, I'm hey. walking by. I didn't hear you say exactly what you said just now. See you later. My God, go. you're out ter you're terrible, Sarge. I think you may be onto something. No shit. So the Avengers of Jacks now. That's gonna be funny. Hey there, Mr. Sarge. <laughs> Distract him. Sarge, have you ever considered a life in show business? Ha! Ah, that's ridiculous. Show business is a young man's game. I was an old man when your old man was a young man. Well, not really? Necessarily. How old are you? People do get into it late. At the later. Well, despite my chiseled frame and iconic eyebrows, I am a iconic older, eyebrows. Not a movie star. You know, you remind me of R. Lee Irby. He was a marine, a real one like you. He was consulting on Full Metal Jacket and was so really? good that Cooper cast him in the actual film right then and there. Really? Ain't that a wing I wow, yeah. Be writing a military drama myself. I never, not if you're not interested, I don't, never seen sure Full Metal Jacket, but I do know that. Oh. I know, this, I don't know that scene, ah, but the drill started to see. That was awesome. I I but damn. Now, what exactly did you say this movie is about? It's a military court drama about a drill sergeant who has to defend himself in court after an accident during a drill gets his whole squad killed. Sounds fantastic. Uh, well, fantasy. yeah. Didn't you go through that when you were being selected for the sergeant role? I, I mean, once you have the part, of course, of course, there's an audition first. It's like a screen test, you know. Yeah, test. go, audition go, test, go, go Andrews. Test. All right, all right, I'll give it a shot. Firstly, I always seen myself playing the 30-something CEO of some exciting internet startup. Yeah, I think that's going to be a bit of a stretch. Why don't we stick to what you know? Lights. Camera. Sorry. Oh, brother. All right, there's Gene. Yep, there's the uh, Cronut and Bucky. I'm remembering the names now. It's impressive. Houston, I'm sick of them. So sick of them, I can puke. I know. I'm sorry. I've just, I'm, I'm trying. Try harder, fuckface. Whoa. When will it be done? Oh, you know, soon. Soon. Yeah, soon. Soon. Probably. Probably. Hello. Probably. Probably. What the fuck, Loco? I've given you everything you asked for. You said it would be ready months ago. Well, the quantum capacitors are working. The Flux Matrix is inverting the matter state. Okay. Polarize the antimatter and I'm out of the way batteries. Stop. Oh, I can't oh, stand why, the why? fucking techno babble. But yeah. why couldn't you just build me a huge freaking bomb like I asked? This is going what? to be so much better. 
It's gonna be perfect. It's gonna be big and beautiful, and you're going to love it. And we're gonna be best friends. And it's going to be finished soon. Uh oh. Or you are. Got it. It'll be uh oh. By the. Uh oh. Okay, so this is so. My God, this guy. Dad, hard ass. It's you. Oh, you're in trouble now. Should I arrest you, boss? I'm telling you, Tucker. I know what I heard. That's definitely not a cloaking device. Well, then what is it? I don't know, but it most definitely shows that they're not being honest with us. Maybe they just don't trust the temple. Is not being honest. Here. I'm not some reality TV producer, okay? I promise I didn't leave that bounty hunter to you. Can we please bury the hatchet and just focus on what's important? But yeah, that, that was just a single reason not to trust them. Oh God. Can you explain why they're keeping us in the dark about what's going on. They're not. Look, they left me in charge of planning the campaign against the UNSC. That's a video game. What? No. It's <laughs> what? A tactic simulator. Look, advanced military stuff. That's a video game, Tucker. Or that's a. Huh. Oh yeah, Halo Wars. Halo Wars two. They're distracting Michael Tran back in yes. Carolina and Washington. Halo Wars, Wars two, which I beat the game by the way. It's just it's on a list of let's play put together. Nothing about this place smells fishy to you. Of course it smells fishy. Figuratively, Tucker. Figuratively. Figuratively. Fishy. Almost all the doors around here are locked. I can't find a single computer that's networked. If they were really being so open, why all the secrecy? I wouldn't want a bunch of random people running around my house either. They might steal shit. Good point. Walk into my masturbatorium. Uh, what if it's more than that? Ugh. What if there's stuff they don't want us to see? You know, I don't need your help. Yeah. I thought you should know. Temple's office. What about it? He has a network computer. I've seen it. Bingo. Let me know what you find, all right? Okay, right. talker. She's uh, okay. trusting. Ready? Sarge, did you they got a green a screen of set up. I'm nervous. I mean, ready. I mean, of course I'm ready. I'm ready then. Oh, Maybe wow. We'll get in position. This is fun. Wonder what he meant by choose. Are you kidding me? Is this, was that written no by was that drawn by Caboose? By dying for his country. Nah, 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 nah. Or by making the blue bastard die for his country. Now, should we win the day? It's a parody of no Patton's speech from the movie. But as the day the world stood up in one voice and said, You may take our lives. But you'll never take our truth! You want the truth? You can't handle the truth! Second place, Seriously? Nice. Third place, Martini! She can... That's true. He just threw out one-liners! Good. That was great take. Uh... He's dead, Jim! Got a wizard, Harry! You lucky punk! They won again! What?! Hasta la vista! A great big bushy beard! This is my boomstick! How am I doing? I think we're losing the thread. Yes! City Slinger! Spinner! Lazy Team 2! Lazy Team 2?! Titles. Such, yes, and I'm pretty sure you made that last one up. <laughs> right. Le oh, now the, there was Laser Team Three. So they're gonna do the Team I Two. How was that movie? Where's the reporter? Oh, uh -oh. Sir. wrong. They're empty. You, Shutterbug, tell me where she is. Have you gentlemen ever considered a life in show business? Oh God! Uh, I, I, I don't know. I swear. Uh oh. Damn it, password. Vic. Vic. God damn it, Vic. Vic? Yo, 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 yo. B I C K, what is up, Chica Mosfina? Quiet. Wait, that's your dumb AI? <laughs> well, your wish is my command, you Dorito. This genie is popping off that bottle and ready to roll. What you need? Access to this computer. So the, her AI is Vic. Hey, she she salvaged Vic. Got three little wishes before you got to control all the Oh, I get it. Yeah, yeah, I haven't forgotten. Yeah, and this is wish number uh, two. Uh, wish number. <laughs> Seems like I got a little uh, die for the memory circuits, a little uh, eraser in the cabeza, huh? Uh, this is wish number. Wish number two. Right. <laughs> this is wish number dos. You promised okay. me, Dorito. I don't want to stand up my date's death. We're taking the river sticks to Disneyland. I'm doing shots with Anubis, dude. I'm playing Twister wow. with the uh, Reaper. With she the Reaper, shit. I love these analogies and metaphors. That works. Yeah. Knock it off. Are you in? So <laughs> rude. Anything? Oh, dude, you are not going to believe this, dude. Oh, my God. 
It's me! What does that mean? Look! Uh-oh. Yeah, that face! That face! That, so the church message was a complete sham. They sent it! Because that's what I think, I mean, it's hard to tell. I mean, we're clearly, God damn you, Rooster Team! Why are you leaving us in suspense? Move, move Dylan's head out of the way so I can see that video! Now it's quite clear that it's quite clear that now they send the church recording. It's all fabrication. And Vic found himself? That again makes a bit of sense, actually, because if they were another bunch of reds and blues, blues and red, whatever, another bunch of synth troopers, they have to have their own AI, their own Vic, if you will, underneath to pose as command. Oh boy, okay, it does clearly, of course, uh, Temple is the leader, and I think that everyone is genuine in their personality, they're clearly not acting, and we saw Loco, he's smart, but he's also pretty caboosy as well. He's just, the goddamn, it's like, church, if he, it's like, it's, it's church fully embrace his evil, his assholeness. I mean, yeah, church was an asshole. But he's a likable one. He was a good guy. He was a good asshole. This guy is really a bad asshole. If, if that makes any sense, I think it does actually. Yes, you, you can have you can have good guys who are dicks and assholes as long as you know they're good guys. There's always gonna be those kind of people. This guy, he, he clearly wants some sort of he's consumed with revenge. I have no idea what he wants. To, I mean, it's still very vague what it is he's truly after. What is his revenge? What did Project Freelancer do to him? Cause it's clearly a lot more than what they did to like the blue the reds and blues of the Blood Gold's crew. Oh boy, I, I can't wait. <laughs> that theme of Sarge though he was just spouting out one liner. I, I I it was going off so fast though, but I definitely heard Harry Potter reference. I <laughs> It's great. It's great. Well, uh... Oh, wow. I'm tired of these damn cliffhangers. People, tell me what you think in the comment section down below. Like and subscribe for more video. Link to this video in the description box. Until the next one, this is Mekasan, logging out.